All right. I'm going to show you how to add some materials. This is a continuation of materials on objects that you have built. Because when you have made a material or edited an object like I have these tables and chairs, you will see when you add a material to them, they will need to be fixed. They will be distorted and they will look horrible. Um, so on this table here, I'm going to hide all the unselected items because these chairs are in my way. So I'm going to click on this table. I'm going to right click on it and choose hide unselected. Now I'm going to select this polygon. I'm going to hold shift and let go and it's going to select all the polygons all the way around. I'm going to bring this edge of the table out. You don't have to do this. I just want my table to hang out a little bit. Okay, and now I'm going to scale this in a bit. Okay, that's my table. Now I'm going to add a material. So I'm going to press M. And I'm going to set up a material. General, physical material. Double click, right click. Show shade of material in viewport. And I'm going to save a material that isn't seamless. It's just a regular picture of wood here. I'm going to use this. This picture is horrible. It's very blurry, so maybe pick this one. This is blurry too, I wouldn't use this, but for this example I'm going to. So, <clears throat> this is what's called not seamless. So if I put this material on the table, <clears throat> you will see what I mean. Okay, I'm going to use this non-seamless material, I'm going to put it on the table, and I'm going to select the whole tabletop. So I'm going to press Control A to select all the polygons. You can press F2 on the keyboard to toggle on and off the highlighted red faces. Now I'm going to add an unwrap. So click on the modifier list, press UN, and click on this. Now I'm going to try the magical button after I open up the UV editor. I'm going to turn on my picture here and I'm going to hit the magical button and it looks like it did an okay job um, but now I'm going to specifically press F2 to toggle on I'm going to specifically select, I'll do the legs first, so I'm going to drag through here and select all the legs and I'm going to deselect those so it looks like this table as you can see uh, needs some work so I'm going to click on the polygons that need the work and I'm gonna fix them individually so it looks like this polygon here needs unwrapped so I unwrap it I'm gonna do these two as well unwrap those individually and I'm gonna click on this unwrap that as well you see it'll fix itself let's see if this can look any better it can so now I'm gonna select this leg here and that will select all my polygons and I'm gonna to decide to scale that because that's way too big and I'm just gonna scale this up make sure you have all your edges your polygons selected you do that by holding control and I'm gonna scale this up and in here you will see you see the seam that means that this material is not seamless so I'm just going to exit out of this, I'm going to convert this to an edible poly, and I'm going to use a material that is seamless. So I'm going to press M, go to Materials, General, I'm going to create another material, double click, right click, show shade of material in viewport now, I'm going to click the settings box next to bitmap and click bitmap, double click, and this is the material that I need to use, it is seamless. I specifically looked it up in the Google search. I looked up wood texture seamless, that's S-E-A-M-L-E-S-S, -S -S, and double click it, now I'm going to hook it up and put it on the table that I made, like this. 
There we go. Now you can see that it still needs to be unwrapped a little bit. So I'm going to click on the modifier list and press UN. Then I'm going to press enter and go to open UV editor. Then turn on the image right here. Now this material that I have selected is seamless and it needs a little bit of adjustments as you can see. I'm going to start with the leg and go around and select while holding control. Then F2 to toggle on, toggle off. F2 to toggle on and toggle off. Let's press F2 so I can see what I have selected. Alright, now I'm going to unwrap. F2. Okay, so I need to do these individually. I'm going to unwrap this. And now I'm going to hold control and unwrap these individually. Hold control. Select those two polygons here. And unwrap. Now I'm going to select this polygon here and I'm going to click unwrap. Now I can go and select these individually. While holding control I turned on F2 to toggle on the red highlight. Now I can press it to D select and I'm just going to You see when you have polygons selected and you try to go to scale you can't select the scale. So you have to select the scale first and then go and select the polygons which can trip and confuse some people. So now I'm just going to scale the polygons that I have selected. Press F2 to toggle that off. Let's say I don't like the way it's looking in here. I can use the free transform tool and change the way that looks. This probably isn't the best material for legs but it seems alright especially from a distance so what I can do now is copy the placement and the scale of these polygons of this leg and paste them on the scale and placement of these legs here by going to the edit tab and click and copy now I can select the leg polygons on this side while holding control and you can press F2 to turn on and off the toggle of the red highlighted polygons F2 off and now I go to edit and click paste and you'll see that this polygon leg selection is now the same as the polygon selection on this leg here. I just did twice the work in half the time. Now I'm going to go over here toggle on F2. Select these legs. Edit. Paste. F2 to turn that off. Same legs. Do the same thing over here. Hold control F2 to see if what I'm selecting. Now I can press F2 so I can see what I'm doing, and now I'll just go to paste. Now we have to worry about the top of the table. The bottom of the table looks pretty bad, but we're not going to see that. So I'm just going to select, press F2 to toggle on so I can see what I'm s clicking. And this is a little tedious. It's probably quicker to do this. Go ahead. This is much quicker. Now that I've got my legs in here, I need to adjust the top. Rather than selecting all of these polygons, I'm just going to convert this into an edible poly. The legs still look good, and I'm going to select the polygons like this. I'm going to click a couple in the middle. That might be the middle polygon. This might work. Now I'm going to click Grow. That worked. Now I need to get the edges, and let's let's not do the edges. I'll do the edges in a second. So now I'm going to add an unwrap again. Click on the modifier list. Type UN. Press enter. Go to the open UV editor. Now I'm going to turn on the material up here. Map wood. And now I'm going to hit the magic button. F2 to toggle on and toggle off. Let's see. Okay. It doesn't look like it's the shape isn't the way I'd, I'd like it to be all one giant polygon selection so what I can do is click flatten custom that'll flatten the whole thing out the way it looks in the screen here and now I can take the free transform tool and scale it to what I want it to be and maybe change it like this so now what I would do is convert that into an edible poly and I'd go around and do the edges of this table now so I'd click on one, 
hold shift until you can see the red highlight click on it again and now I'm gonna go up here type UN open UV editor I'll turn on the wood so I can see what I'm doing and I'll click flatten custom here and I'll press F2 so I can toggle on and see what I'm doing here and I'll just scale it until it looks okay okay that looks okay all right, I'm going to convert into an edible poly. There we go. Press F4 to toggle on and off edged faces. That is how you add materials to an object that you've edited.